Welcome to Inside the Lines. I am Greg Sussman. This is Frank Stample. Tonight, the New York Knicks are in Milwaukee to take on Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Milwaukee Bucks. They are 16 and a half point underdogs in Milwaukee tonight, Frank, but that may not be a bad thing. I don't think it is a bad thing here, Greg. Look, this is a massive number, 16 and a half points, as you mentioned. But the Knicks have been double-digit underdogs in four games this season, and they are 3-1 and one against the spread in those four games. On the opposite side, the Milwaukee Bucks have been double-digit favorites nine different times. They are just 3-6 and six ATS in those games. So if you do want to wager on the Knicks, and I think you know, the fact that this number is so big actually works well for the New York Knicks in this spot. I understand Giannis Antetokounmpo has been awesome this year, averaging 30.9 points per game. I want to focus on the matchup on the other side as well. Julius Randle, over his last three games, averaging 22.3 points per game. I think it starts with Julius Randle tonight, Greg. I'm glad you bring up Julius Randle because the Knicks are going to have to be better in the paint if they're going to be able to cover the spread tonight. They're 30th in the NBA uh, right now in points in the paint. The Bucs give up the least amount of points in the paint in the NBA. The Knicks are going to have to dominate inside if they want to cover tonight. It is the second game of a back-to-back for the Knicks, but hey, it's happened twice before. They are 1-1 one one against the spread in those contests. Let's move on, Frank, to Memphis, where the Grizzlies are taking on the Indiana Pacers. Memphis is plus 9.5 at home tonight with no John Morant once again. What should we expect from the Grizzlies tonight? I think this is a bad matchup for the Memphis Grizzlies in this spot. The Indiana Pacers are one of the most efficient offenses in the league, shooting 47.2% from the floor so far. And on the other side, the Memphis Grizzlies are 27th in scoring defense, so they allow a ton of points, Greg. And the Indiana Pacers score efficiently. I think a lot of that starts, again, with Malcolm Brogdon, who was just having a breakout season, his first season here with the Indiana Pacers. He's returned over the past four games from an injury. They are 3-1 and one ATS in those games on the season, Greg. He's averaging 19.4 points per game, 7.9 assists. So I really do like this spot for the Pacers. I am taking them tonight, and I think Malcolm Brogdon has a big game. A big game. Everything you said to me leads to taking you over tonight. You're right. Memphis doesn't play a whole lot of defense. The Indiana Pacers, they're very, very good uh, at scoring efficiently. And the Grizzlies like to run, and they're going to run tonight even without John Morant. In fact, the last time these two teams played, they went over their number at 216 points. They're going to do it again. They scored 240 points last time out. The over-under tonight is 216. They're going over that number again. When we come back, we'll give you our dollar hollas as well as hitting on the Kings and the Bulls. Stick around. More Inside the Lines right after this. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Back with you inside the lines, Greg Sussman and Frank Stample. The Kings are hosting the Chicago Bulls. And you wouldn't believe this, Frank. Kings are one of the hottest teams in the NBA, especially ATS. They've covered 12 of their last 13 contests. The Kings are in a good spot tonight against the Chicago team that plays really good defense, but potentially not enough offense. Yeah, I think Sacramento is going to control this game with their defense. We know De'Aaron Fox is still dealing with this ankle injury, and Corey Joseph actually really does strengthen that defense for the Sacramento Kings. In nine games with Fox, Sacramento was allowing 111.6 points per game. In nine games without De'Aaron Fox, they're allowing just 103.6 points per game. So you mentioned how hot they are. I'm not getting in front of the Sacramento Kings. I like them a ton tonight. As well. I like the Kings, and I like the under. The Kings have gone under in eight of their last ten contests. Well, the have gone under in each of their last three. Let's move on to our dollar hollow. We'll give you a long shot bet that's worth placing tonight. I'm sticking with those Sacramento Kings. Harrison Barnes in an overtime game played over 40 minutes, had over 30 points. He was awesome last time out. Tonight at plus 1020, you can get Harrison Barnes over 25 points and the Kings to win. Their favorite tonight doesn't make sense. Give me Harrison Barnes and the Kings. I actually love that one, Greg, but I'm going over to Malcolm Brogdon once again in the Indiana Pacers to score 25 plus points and the Pacers win. You get that at plus 460. He scored 28 points in his previous game and the Grizzlies struggle against point guards. All right, coming up next, it's Knicks game night. Enjoy the game, and we'll see you next time before the next Knicks game.